Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Rock and Roundtable. My name is Shay. My name is Matthias. Today's reaction is the song "Wasted Time" from the masterpiece "Slave to the Grind" by Skid Row. This is one of the strongest power ballads I have ever heard. Allegedly, this song is based on Stephen Adler's uh, Guns N' Roses drummer struggle with alcohol and drugs back in the 80s and 90s. And uh, pay close attention to the lyrics. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give a reaction, a review, and our rating. Let's roll. Tell lies and watch you die every day. I think back to the times when dreams were what mattered. Just don't 
Wow. Oh, my wow. goodness. That, so emotional. What do you think? It is very emotional. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. That song is such a, what a performance. And the vocal performance from Sebastian Bach here is just one of the best I ever heard, uh, ever. And that's what I say, folks, feel something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. And he made made us listeners feel something because you can just, you can hear it in his voice and his breath that he makes. Yeah. And, his... and that is such a good point because typically, sorry to interrupt you, mm. but the breath, mm. because typically in productions, they kind of cut off the, the breath. When Many times. Yes. Yeah, when it, yeah. Because you could hear mm -hmm. every breath in between when it, <gasps> before it started singing. Right, right. And it was perfect to, to keep it intact yeah. for this recording. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the lyrics and, yeah, I, I have, it's so, so difficult to talk about this because such a, such a great song. And I remember this back when it came out, and Slave to the Grind is an amazing album. It's one of the best albums that came out of that time or, or ever. And that was? 1991. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time, because the, the, the first song, the, sorry, the first album from Skid Row was more of, uh, I mean, I know that John Bon Jovi was involved. I wrote some of the songs together with the band, or and it was more commercial, if you will. Okay, yeah. And uh, I remember I was so excited about this next album, Slave to the Grind, to come out. And the first single was Monkey Business. Mm -hmm. And it was so heavy. I'm like, what happened here? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you weren't happy with that? No, well, uh, I, was, I, was, I was happy, but I was in shock. But like... Wow, this is so different than the first album. Mm. Yeah, 18 and Life and I Remember You and those songs, which were more radio friendly, if you will, than, yeah, than yeah. Monkey Business was. And MTV yeah. friendly and, and yeah, yeah. everything. And, and uh, in, t in the introduction, I said power ballad, but maybe, I don't know if this is a power ballad, it's just a power anthem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and Hefe, okay, um, did, has Sebastian and. Did they perform this live ever, like on a tour? Was it one? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I, I think they did, yeah. And also remember, uh, I think that when we saw Skid Row with Eric, yeah, they sang this one as well. And I can't recall, but okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Mm. It, it is, it is uh, such an incredible song, and the subject of the song is very, very, you know, it's strong, and that's why it's emotional as well. And the video right. with, with the, the people taking drugs and all that, and the and the kind of the struggle the uh, addicts may have or they do have, uh, it's such a strong message um, in the in this song. So it it is, and and he, you know, could you write this song just um, just um, just relating to in general of anybody? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. but. I'm sure when this was written and allegedly um, that it could be about Stephen. Stephen Adler. Adler, yeah, who thankfully is sober and yeah, he's healthy. Yeah, he's still around. Um, I think I've seen him twice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, a different... His, such, such a great band now. But yeah, maybe yeah, the song helped him. Or maybe, and, and I'm sure... Well, actually, I've read some comments about this song in the, in the YouTube, um, on the YouTube video that we just saw which we're going to put in the description below, by the way. And a lot of people who have had struggles with addiction, they have commented and said it helped them, you know, mm -hmm. to get through their yeah. addiction yeah. struggles as well. Music so. is powerful. Like we've, we've talked about this all the time, you yeah. know, in the past. It, it brings back memories. It brings feeling. It, it really helps people think, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. um, ly lyrically especially obviously. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Um, and, and, and Sebastian's, uh, sorry. Oh, his vo yeah, oh, his, his voice. voice. He's at his peak. His, you know? but, yeah. but also, I mean, we have seen him around here in Las Vegas, uh, at different shows. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he comes up and sings, you know, kind of guest performances. Uh, and his voice is incredibly strong. I know a lot of people, they kind of bash him in, in a way. But his voice is still incredibly strong. And we have seen him around here, like I said, multiple times the last couple of years. 
since, yes. since yeah. he's also yeah. local. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he's almost a neighbor to us here in Las Vegas. Mm. But um, and I think now when Eric has left uh, yeah, Skid Row, yeah, the announcement that yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I mean Eric, he was perfect at Skid Row at this time. He he took Skid Row back on kind of the the, the big stages, if you will. Put him again. back on the map. Yeah, definitely. Know? And due to his, you know, his his health, he had to leave the band because he couldn't keep up with touring, and uh, you know, because he had leukemia, and yeah. his immune system is shot, and he has to be very careful. And touring around the world all the time is, is just, as you can imagine, incredibly hard on your body. So he left, and right now, um, you probably have seen in the news that Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm is going to cover, yeah, at for, least for to begin with, for a few songs. For, but, for a bit, yeah. yeah uh, songs, I mean, for a few shows. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. But I think, and this is just in my opinion, and I know a lot of people will say I, I'm ridiculous. I think this is a perfect time to bring Sebastian Bach back. Sebastian Bach back. Bach back. In, into Skid Row. <laughs> And as a, and in my opinion, Sebastian doesn't need Skid Row, but Skid Row needs Sebastian, and that's my opinion. Did Sebastian leave, or was he kicked out? He was kicked out. Oh, 1996 okay. after okay. the album Subhuman Race. Okay, and I I don't know the details on that. So. Yeah, mm. no, he was kicked out, and I I don't think they have really talked to each other since then, which is like 30 years. Oh my God. Or, or more. Oh no, almost, oh, 28 years. And uh, like I said, I, I think that they need Sebastian more now than he needs them because he's, yeah. he's doing well. Yeah, he's still so loved in the in the community, in the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah and in the industry and all, if, around the people here we know, I mean, mm -hmm. because we, he, he's, he's such a rock fan, like mm -hmm. all of us. He's out going to shows, having fun, checking out bands. And sometimes he goes up on stage with them because, well, he, he's, he's pretty, I mean, I, pretty I, well known. Of so. course, I never met him back in the younger days. But, I mean, he is more down to earth. And I guess just because he's matured now. Um, and he's outgrown a lot of his antics and mm -hmm. shenanigans. Um, <laughs> but anyway, he's... Um, He's just outgrown that. So he's more mature. He's just more down to earth, level headed, funny, super funny. Super funny. Super funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's still so young at heart. Yeah. But like you said, it's super funny. He, yeah. It's just the, the energy he has. And if you have seen his, he has released two videos now from his new upcoming album. Yeah. yeah. And they are absolutely incredible, mm -hmm. both of them. So, yeah. So, like I said, I don't think he needs them, but I think Skid Row needs Sebastian. I, think, I don't think it'll be a permanent uh, situation. I think they... they if it I, happens. I think they, they'll, they'll do um, a mini tour with, with Lizzie and see mm -hmm. how that goes. And because she has her own band. I mean, she's just doing this as a favor for now, you know. I mean, I'm sure, but she's... But yeah. she idolized Skid Row and they were, you know, and... They they influenced her a lot back in high school. Yeah, I mean, who who didn't, right? So, to her, I know she's shocked to even if someone told her younger fourteen year old self to be singing. Oh, for one Skid day Row. you're gonna be singing. You're gonna be fronting Skid Row one day. She's like, what? Yeah, <laughs> but she's that uh, happy about it and excited. Yeah, you know. So, yeah, I mean, at that time, beginning be cool. of the uh, well, eighty nine, ninety one. During that time, Skid Row was one of the biggest bands in the world, mm. up there with yeah, Motley Crue and, and those bands. But all of them, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean I, I'm super happy because we love Hailstorm and Lizzie Hale, and I think that um, same thing there. I mean, does she need them? For, no, for no, her but career? She's, she's successful as it is right now. So, yeah. but um, why, this is just a new experience. Yeah, she, you know, why is. not? This is going to be great, and for them picking a woman, you know, and there's not too many women that could actually pull that off, um, just in styling, yeah, the way the way mm. she sings, yeah, her vocal. I mean, there's a lot of good voices, mm. there's a lot, but the way she is and, and mm -hmm. just everything. 
yeah. image wise as well. And just her stamina to yeah. keep up with that level yeah. of their shows because Hailstorm's similar. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And we've seen, how many times have you seen Skid Row here with Eric? Two or three times, right? Yeah. 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 Two or three. And their shows are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I wish Eric could have stayed with them because it would be a good good for for both parties there. But well, it is what it is now, and uh, I, I wish Skid Row continues to be a band because it's such a great band. That they have the catalog of songs are so good. At the same time, they probably don't need to. I mean, uh, I don't know. But they love to play. <laughs> yeah, that they need that, that's to. the thing. They, I mean, they love to. That's their thing. You know? That's that's very true because there are so many bands like think about Rolling Stones. Yeah. Do you think they need to be playing world tours when they're eighty plus years old? <laughs> no. Fin financially, no. It's, no, I, I, it's they because don't. they love the music. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So I yeah. don't know. And I think it's the same with with Skid Row because, I mean, like I said, their their songs they have and the latest album is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the the one album with Eric. Yeah. So we'll see. And uh, if they're going to pick up another singer after Lizzie Hale, I and mean, if it's not going to be Sebastian Bach, I hope they hire Nils Moline from Dynasty and Amaranth. Yeah, because he, he needs a third band. <laughs> oh, wait, he has a third. He has that New Horizon. So this he needs a fourth band. Oh, he needs a fourth band. Um, yeah, but, but he, he has the skills. Yeah. He has the voice yeah. that would be perfect right. for Skid Row. Another Swedish singer. <laughs> So are you ready to give a rating? I am. And this is going to be incredibly easy for me. This is uh, 10 Marshall Sacks out of 10. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and you? I think I'm going to give it 8 Marshall Sacks out of 10. Oh, it's like a stab in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no. hating. I'm not hating. No, I know. I know. And... Uh, I, I know uh, because I've been listening to this song since it came out and uh, it's always been on one of my top 20 list of favorite songs. So. Oh, it's, it is incredible. So, yeah. 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 So if you like, I know this was a long video, but it just means so much to me at least. But if you like our content, please like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment below. And do us a favor, share this video with your friends and family and your enemies. <laughs> and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.